What's up, my friend? Check this out. <clears throat> this is creation. He's back. I thought he was eyeballing this, but no, there's a squirrel up here in the tree. And he's haunting. This is what we call haunting. This bird. We call it a bird of prey, a red tailed hawk. The bird of prey. Blue Jays are trying to hit him. There's a squirrel up here somewhere. A live one. He wants an alive squirrel with warm, pulsing blood. And someone keeps trying to give me some stupid, stupid words of advice here. Just chilling. Here he goes. Where's he going? There's the squirrel. He's there. I don't know where the bird went. Can't see him any longer. The squirrel's like, oh shit, finally. But as I sit here, with uh, these advancing cameras and the one I'm using right now. That bird should have sat there all day. Could there have been a chance as of right now for some type of electromagnetic event to happen? Pulse that bird out of here. Yes or no? I'm not, I'm not saying it did, but I'm not saying it didn't. It's just one of those things you have to talk to people about and understand uh, the concept of why could it be a stealth craft or could it be like these hybrid organic devices that can run around and travel with people, travel with birds, travel on trees and get their power from the environment just like the human does. And it's, uh, I don't know, they're, they're getting pretty big. Like, you know, like three feet tall here. They used to be, some of them are small, real small. And some of them, they're getting pretty big. So, I, I was just hoping to get lucky here and catch a, another fine piece of Mother Nature. Because I've got, I, my friend, I got a lot of, I got a lot of birds saved on Semiconductor. These hawks were, I got them, they come down and grab birds and other, and rabbit. Well, I didn't get the rabbit. Come down and grab the rabbit in my front yard and picked it apart and ate it right there. I didn't have, my phone was hacked. It wasn't working. I guess the, the camera pulses or something. Or, uh, I don't know, we know, we, we know there's certain ways to brick like fire sticks, you know how to explode them. We know how to brick PlayStations. We, we know how to do all kinds of stuff so the phone don't turn on. So, <clears throat> I'm just chilling. <clears throat> just chilling. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I thought for sure that I thought I thought for sure that that damn bird would have come down and grabbed that damn. He tried to get it. He tried to get the squirrel because he flew over from the telephone pole over there. I don't know if he picked that up or not. Something passed by my ear. It sounded like it went in that direction. Like this shit's moving wind. Moving wind. So here I am. Just walking, talking, thinking about Mother Nature and creation and you know I just had an advertisement for money again. Just call this number get money. Am I going to do it? I should. I really should. <clears throat> I have a lot of people chasing me too, my friend. I'm under the impression that uh, not only is it like our, our wonderful system of protection, but there's a lot of other people trying to catch too and chase. Cause let, me, let me ask you a question, my friend. If we do have... Um, these omnidirectional field propulsion devices 
Okay, like stealth, stealth aircraft. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that somebody's just going to leave it up there in the sky? And if they leave it up there in the sky, that means there's no humans in it. So it's running off of automation. And what I hear, they're putting something called a quantum computer in this thing. So if it's running on a quantum computer and light beam propulsions and things of that nature, is it hard to find a signal for this? And if it's possible to find a signal for this, all these wonderful computer nerds that maybe developed it, it won't stay with them. And it keeps coming to its preferred, to its preferred, like, like a good friend. You choose who you want to hang out with, and these people won't leave it alone. Do you think that's possible? And then you have to suffer consequences from, I'm going to beat your ass computer programs, MK Ultra programs, um, whatever else they got. It's just, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to peck your head like a fucking woodpecker computer. <clears throat> and we're going to choose and pick who we want to be our friends as as these controllers of if there is a if there is a craft up there we're gonna pick who we want this thing to hang out with but this thing doesn't this thing doesn't want to hang out with them because they're making it do bad shit now is it possible that it could just reprogram itself absolutely to stop all the shit and why does it have to listen there's like some sort of source code in it that 